Hello, I'm back. Don't worry, I did not forget that I had a channel. Um, I just actually had a weekend off of work for a change, which was, it was great. We didn't get away to do what we wanted because a few people got COVID, so we're rearranging that for September. Um, but me and the partner, we decided that we were going to have a weekend of fun anyway. Um, so that's why I haven't been about. I've actually had no time to do anything. Um, apologies if you hear any background noises tonight. It's just because I've got the window open next to me because... As you will know, if you're in the UK right now, we're suffering with a bit of a heat wave and humidity, and it's horrible. It's not much better outside because we've had the rain, which means all the heat has come back out of the uh, the tarmac, which isn't great. So it's going to be a horrible night's sleep. But anyway, I digress. Uh, we're talking about Clement Longley today. I know you would have already seen that we've signed him, yada yada, fifth signing in. It's absolutely great news. On loan, I'm just going to have a little general chit chat myself about... Um, a little bit about his background, um, then what he said, and then finish off with what I think of the signing because there's been a few people out there that aren't overly uh, convinced or joyed about it, and I think that's more because of the links to other players. So let's jump into it. Spurs, fifth signing through the door, Barcelona player, Clement Longley, 27-year-old centre-back standing at six foot one, has come in to be competition or to take over... Um, this season from Ben Davis, who had an astonishing season last season, without a doubt his most consistent, his best season in a Spurs shirt. So not going to knock him, but it is nice for him to have a bit of competition. You know, it's going to be a long season. Players are going to get burnt out. We need somebody that can step in and fill those boots. And I feel these two are going to be healthy competition for one another. And it, it might even take Ben Davies onto another level. Who knows? Um, so it is a loan at the moment. We are told there is no option to buy but I feel like the fee would be fairly cheap anyway at the end of the season, no matter how well he performs, just because Barcelona have a lot of financial constraints. And uh, I'm just realising in the background, you might be able to see um, just over there, that is Scrappy-Doo. <laughs> got him years ago when I was in Florida, still got him now. Um, so if any of you are wondering why I have a giant cuddly dog in the room, that is why. Um, so yes, he has come in from Barcelona. Um Let's talk about his background. So he began his career at Nancy. Uh, he made his debut for those in September 2013, became a regular by the age of just 19 years old. He made 34 appearances out of their 38 matches in the 2015-16 season as they won the French second division and therefore gained promotion to Ligue 1. Uh, he signed for Sevilla in January 2017 and in the 27-18 season he featured in 54 of the 59 matches in all competitions for Sevilla, reaching the Champions League quarterfinals and also the final of the Copa del Rey. Pretty good going for your first season in La Liga for a team of the stature of Sevilla. Bearing in mind you've come from Nancy where you've played in the second division, just promoted to Ligue 1. Um, so that's pretty good going there. He then joined Barcelona in July 2018 um, after they triggered his 35 million euro release clause. So that just goes to tell you how highly regarded he was in Sevilla considering he just made the step up into La Liga. Um, and since he's been at Barcelona, he's racked up uh, 159 appearances in all competitions. He's obviously won La Liga, which he did in his first season, and also the Copa del Rey in 2021. Um, he's been capped across all the youth levels for France, under 16 all the way to under 21s. He made his senior international debut in June 2019, and so far has 15 caps um, for the French international squad. Um, despite recent criticism of him as a player... Um, there definitely is a player in there. Uh, he's been at Barcelona during what we can argue is one of their worst times in recent history. Um, it's been a poor period financially, which has meant big stars have had to go out the door. There's been a lot of wage cuts, um, players refusing to drop their wages for the benefit of the club. So there's been a lot of off-field drama, if you will. And because of that, it means on the field they haven't performed quite to the levels you would expect, which means there's been dip in form of players because although... You can play well at times. If the squad isn't playing well, quite often there's a detriment to your own performances. And they've obviously had change in management and all things like that. So he will battle with Ben Davis for the left centre-back spot. Uh, he's more of a front-footed defender than Davis. Um, so if we look at a couple of stats, he has 11.8 pressures and 1.8 tackles per 90 minutes, which is actually more... 
uh, than the Welshman. He's good with the ball at his feet, um, has an excellent range of passing. He loves a long pass. He has Champions League experience, obviously. I know Ben Davies does as well, um, but now there's two of them, which means the backup has Champions League experience. Uh, he's also made 43 appearances across four Champions League campaigns for Barcelona and Sevilla. Um, so on loan, effectively, he's a great signing. He, um, Because it's a loan signing, it means it costs us very little to have him in. It's just wages and, and a small loan fee, which leaves funds for other key areas. Um, it's essentially a try before you buy, as we did with Romero. And we know how that's gone. It's worked out very well once Romero recovered from his injury. And we are expecting at some point there will be an announcement that Romero's loan is made permanent. Conte said last season we were going to make it permanent. Nobody has any doubts about it. I can't see him wanting to leave Spurs anytime soon. Great development for him. Um, so looking at Longley, fantastic signing. And there are a lot of people out there that have got their reservations because of his form for Barcelona. has kind of been up and down. But as I've said, he's he's been in a Barcelona that's been very disrupted in terms of you know big-name players leaving. Lionel Messi goes out the door. They've lost over the years. Um, Neymar, Suarez. I mean, what a front three they were. And then you've got contract rebels in there. And there's been a lot of injuries, the change in management and structure. So Longley, I think, will be a great addition. Um, he's not gone out onto the pre-season tour. Now, that's just because... Um, so he, he did his medical... We knew the deal was going to get over the line. They were trying to push it through quicker because they essentially just needed clearance for him to be able to get the visa to travel with the squad. That didn't happen in the time um, that we wanted it to, which means he's been left at home. Um, but he will be working with the players there. Essentially, there a lot of them are players that are going to be moving out the door, <clears throat> or we hope to get them out the door. Um, but nonetheless, he'll be put through his paces, I'm sure, because there will be staff left back there that are working under the mould of Antonio Conte of his pre-season. So they'll definitely be put through their paces. And we have an obligation to the players, even if we want them to go out the door, to make sure they are in good physical condition. There is no chance they're all going to go. And if they don't go, they may be needed throughout the season. We might need Harry Winks to come in and play a couple of games. So you need to make sure these players are match sharp. Um, so it'll be a good experience for him nonetheless. It might actually be nice for him to be able to settle in without everybody else around him. So let's have a little... Oh, hello. Background light went off. Let's have a little look at what Clement Longley actually had to say when coming in Spurs. So there were things that he said about um, Hugo Hugo Lloris and, and things like that, but we won't read them. We'll just talk about what he's actually said. Um, so he said, I'm very happy to be here, to be in this city at this club. Uh, that was in his first exclusive interview with Spurs. I speak with friends, with my family to take my decision. And all the words were very, very good speaking about the club. I'm very excited to start the season with my new teammates, new stadium, new city. For me, all is new, but I'm hungry. I want to play. I want to be the best soccer player to help the team to win trophies and fight in all competitions. Now, a little bit of advice for Clement Longley. In England, we call it football. We do not appreciate it being called soccer. So a little one from now on, change it up. He then went on to say, first of all, I want to be a good teammate, to be a defender who can be strong, aggressive and help the group to win the ball. It is very important, first of all, to be a good defender. After that, a good player and to help the team. Uh, he said he's also excited to work with Antonio Conte. It's a mister who has won a lot of trophies. He has a lot of experience. And for me, it's a beautiful moment to work with the mister and to learn all he knows about football. Um, asked about his targets for the upcoming campaign, he added, I would like to play a lot of games to win because if you play and you don't win, you are not happy. I want to win a lot of games and to be happy, to fight at the height of the classification. It's a dream. I would like to win a trophy here in Tottenham. Now they're all ready. All very good words. We know a lot of players say similar things when they come in. Um, but yeah, it was it was a nice first interview. Um, I think he'll be happy that he has um, Hugo Lloris there to help him settle in. He spoke about, you know, how much of a legend he is for not only France, uh, but Tottenham as well. And, you know, although Tangi and Dombele is probably going to go out the door, it's actually a blessing in disguise that Tangi hasn't been included in the squad because that gives him somebody that he would have played international football with to help embed himself into the club. Whether um, 
um, whether he wants to be here or not anymore. Uh, I, I feel like it would just be nice to help him settle in whilst the rest of the squad are away. Although they're not away for too long anyway. So, yeah, that's it on Clement Longley. I, I hope you're happy that he's in. Um, please leave your comments below on your thoughts about this. Because after all, he's not the big name defender that we were asking for. Everybody wanted Bastoni, include, sorry, including Antonio Conte, Paratici. It didn't happen. We know the reasons. He wanted to stay where he was. He's a young defender. He'll take on the captaincy. Um, he's playing international football. Why would he move? It doesn't make sense at this stage of his career. But don't be surprised if we go back in for him. There is a possibility. Longley will come in. Um, he'll do okay for the season. Then we'll look at maybe bringing Bastoni in for the following season, which in turn means we don't have to then pay and buy for uh, Clement. He doesn't have to come in on a permanent, but you know it'll make for a good interim season to get another player in um, to help tide us over till that situation. Or on the flip side, Clement Longley may come in and under Conte absolutely smash it, come into a squad that is vibrant, playing well, good mentality, his fitness levels will no doubt go up. Um, if you've seen any of the pre-season footage, wow, he's putting them through their paces. Um, we will talk about that at some point. Um, so yeah, Clement Longley, welcome to Tottenham Hotspur. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Not the big name signing, but however, could be a very useful squad player. And squad players are very, very important. And uh, our defence, once Conte got them going last season, I thought were very good. So is there any need to really disrupt that so much? I don't know. You let me know in the comments. Um, but thanks for sticking around. I hope you enjoyed a little chat on Clement Longley and, and what I think about him. Now it's over to you to let me know what you think of him. But thank you for sticking around. Um, I have been Kieran from Speaking Spurs. Don't forget to leave your comments, subscribe and like the video. Share it amongst your friends. Thank you for sticking around. Take care. And until the next one, come on you Spurs. <laughs>